morning and welcome to our morning bulletin on 23rd September 2008 and I'm Kriti to take you through the happenings of the HDL India Culture Week that started a week ago and ended a day before. HDL India Culture Week which saw the galore of 11 designers ended on Sunday and that too in a Bollywood style. Designer Rohit Bal brought the curtain down when he merrily danced on the ramp after his show got over. Bal and Olympic bronze medal winner Vijayendar Singh as also the other models sashayed down the runway in carefree spirit, singing and dancing to Bollywood hits on Sunday night to signal a colourful end to the six-day extravaganza. Bollywood's favourite designer Manish Malhotra showcased his collection prior to Bal's and predictably this had a very filmy touch to it. Unlike the previous shows, the final two had Bollywood music as their background scores and this certainly added the Indian essence to the collections. Bal's collection was inspired by the opulent costumes worn by the Mughal royalty with a contemporary twist while Mal Malhotra's line was meant for newlywed couple. With stars like Karishma Kapoor, Sonam Kapoor, beauty pageant winners, the ramp was set on fire. But the main stars of the show were designers like Manish Malhotra, Ashish Soni, Anamika Khanna, Rohit Bal, Ritu Kumar and the list is endless. Well, there were some designers who did come up with the interesting collections like Kolkata-based Anamika Khanna who gave the Indian dhoti a completely new dimension and transformed it into wonderful cowl shaped dresses. Varun Behel's collection saw the marriage of Mughal and Rajput dynasties with the Elizabethan age that created extravagant yet sober silhouettes grabbing the attention of the audience. Then there were designers who managed to steal the hearts of the audience with their innovations with the ram. Designer Sunit Verma's enchanted forest theme had twinkling stars and moonlight as the backdrop, a pool in the center of the runway. Beautiful cutouts hanging from the rooftops and big branches reaching out to the audience. Well, that was of course not all. Designer JJ Walaya pulled the crowd with a signature royal collection and that too without the name of any Bollywood stars. The collection was launched against the backdrop of Royal Walaya Kingdom and model Netra Raghuraman walked the ramp for him. Designer Ashi Sony rechristened the term black and white by showcasing his collection. It was a sophisticated line of cashmere and woolen coats, pants, jackets. Shirwanis and satin gowns all in black and white served to redefine Hathi culture on the second day of the inaugural HDL India Culture Week. Ashi's collection was really a treat to the modern men and women. Bollywood actors Priyanka Chopra, Neha Dutia, Riya Singh and Rana Singh walked the ramp for Ritu Kumar whereas Karishma Kapoor, Shilpa Shetty and Sonam Kapoor did so for Manav Gangwani, Tarun Tahiriani and Anamika Khanna respectively. Apart from Bollywood actors reading Miss India World 2008, Parvati Omna Kuttan, Miss India Earth 2008, Tanvi Vyas and Miss India Earth 2006, Amrita Patki also walked the ramp for Ritu Kumar. The India Culture Week was the latest initiative of the Fashion Design Council of India which annually stages two editions of the hugely successful Will's Lifestyle India Fashion Week in New Delhi. The event saw most of the 11 participating designers showcasing bridal collections to the point of monotony. In short, it was old wine in a new bottle for the majority. Well, it's time to wrap up the show, but I promise to be back tomorrow with some more news from the entertainment and fashion world. Till then, take care and keep logging our website, headlinesindia.com.